Hi, I'm WABE contributor Mike Jordan. And I'm Sammy Purcell with Rough Draft Atlanta. And this is How Do You Atlanta? Let's take a look at what's going on in the city this week. What do you got for us, Mike? Lego nerds out there. The art of the brick. Now, it's an internationally acclaimed, immersive Lego experience. It's an art show from an artist named Nathan Sawaya. And it's coming to Atlanta. It's doing some other cities, but it's coming to Atlanta very early. It's going to be over 70 works of art made out of these little bricks, like a million of these Lego bricks, apparently. It's going to be big, oversized sculptures, galleries with human Legos, also representatives of the animal kingdoms, and all this other nerd-level Lego stuff. So Legos out the wazoo. It's going to run through the end of June, so it's going to be at the Exhibition Hub Atlanta Art Center. That's in Doraville. It's a new venue. And the tickets and the info are at theartofthebrickexpo.com. You know, I feel like this is something that would be fun for kids, but I have so many friends who are still so invested in Legos. One of my friends gave me Belle as a Lego for my birthday no. a couple years ago, and it almost made me cry. I mean, it's that whole 8-bit look that yeah. still kind of always is going to be in style. You know, the mm -hmm. Mario Brothers look. Uh, sure. People like things that are really sharp-edged and cornered, mm -hmm. and, you know, it just always is going to speak to that part of our hearts. That's true. A million Legos, though. That'd be hard to clean up. <laughs> we'll see. I'm <laughs> going to get lost. Sure. <laughs> what do you have going on next? Well, this is very exciting for a younger me because Moulin Rouge the Musical is coming to the Fox Theater April 19th through 30th. So I was a huge fan of this movie growing up. I had a really big crush on Ewan McGregor, not because of Star Wars, but because of this movie. It was a whole thing. And I think for fans of the movie, this will definitely float your boat and get your Moulin rouge groove going you know the movie came out you know upwards of 20 years ago at this point and the musical has added a bunch of new hit songs into the mix because we know Mulan rouge is sort of a mishmash jukebox musical type deal and there are a bunch of new pop songs all included in all your old favorites so it's gonna be really fun but there are gonna be some a little difference you know that you can check out when you get there maybe you'll be surprised a little bit so you can purchase tickets at thefoxtheater.org and again that's Mulan Rouge the musical at the Fox April 19th through 30th all right, what else you got for us? So, uh, High Fidelity Heads, Record Store Day. I love Record Store Day. It's something that started in 2007, but it's international, and it's a way to promote and to celebrate independently owned record stores around the country, around the world. So it's usually a place for like vinyl heads to kind of stack up their collections. And Criminal Records, which is, you know, our beloved record shop in Little Five Points, they always participate. Now, this is the way it works. The stores individually purchase these records that are on this website, and so it's sort of like you can find these everywhere that they're participating locations. Now, it's a big range of things, but they're split into three categories. There's the exclusives, which are only sold in Record Store Day. There are RSD first, which is meaning they can get them early, but they may show up later somewhere else. And then there are the small and regional titles. Go there on Saturday, April 22nd, and get there early. The doors open at 9 a.m., and there's more information at recordstoreday.com. Look for the criminal records uh, location oh that's awesome do you have any do you, are you a vinyl guy do you have i'm a super vinyl guy do you have any favorites yes i have like a six or seven album set from sade Whoa. and it's like yeah oh my goodness like yeah. it, it we get real like we put some candles on i'm not gonna give me and my wife's business but we play <laughs> sade records quite often in the crib yeah what about you um i actually just acquired um judy garland at carnegie hall live you're such mm -hmm. like i love yeah. that you're like deep into like the <laughs> performance thing is it good though oh my god it's amazing it's like it, you should just give it a listen, even if you're not a big Judy Garland person. Like, it's just incredible. Can we trade one of these sure, days? Sure, we okay. should. We'll, do, we'll broker a Judy trade. Garland. Yeah, <laughs> for <laughs> sure. <laughs> what do you have for us next, Sammy? The Atlanta Film Festival starts this week, so yeah. it runs from April 20th to 30th. Um, it'll be taking place at different theaters throughout the city, so like the Carter Center, the Plaza Theater, um, and you can go online to figure out, you know, what movie is playing where. And I've been lucky enough to already get a chance to see some of these films, especially from local filmmakers, and they're really awesome. A lot of good documentaries, which I'm, you know, I'm usually kind of drawn towards fiction, but these are really good. Would you say that the Atlanta Film Festival is as respected? Uh, how is it in terms of, you know, other cities and their film festivals? Do you think we're getting the credit we deserve? I don't know if we ever get the credit we deserve, but this film festival is really cool. I have watched so many movies and they are all so different. And the Atlanta Film Festival really is a local film festival mm -hmm. and does a lot to try to put Georgia filmmakers out there and local filmmakers out there. And this is where the industry is. So, you know, we got to push those guys and they're doing really awesome work. That's right. Yeah. All right. 
That's all we got this week. For more on these and other events, check out HowDoYouAtlanta.com. W-A-B-E. <laughs>